Is this the end of it? And the thought of something else? It's the end. And the start. Welcome to the CRM. Hello guys! Today, I'm going to show you how to make a TikTok edit in Filmora 13. I'm using a 1080 to 1080 project size, so I'm going to scale my clip until it fits. I already marked my beats. Finding clips for your edit is up to you. Once I find all my clips, I'm going to add slow motion to them. When you're done, hit the render preview button. Let's take a look. Our edit is looking very still, so we have to add some zooms to make it look better. Find auto pan effect from New Blue FX and watch what I'm doing. Make sure the animation is in ease out. The other ones doesn't look very good for TikTok edits. To find the best settings, play around with them a bit. Now I'm going to apply the effect to all my clips. Let's take a look. My character isn't in the middle of the screen for the whole clip, so I'm gonna fix it. Make sure to do that in every clip. To make a smooth transition between the clips, I'm going to do a 5 frames long zoom out for every clips using surround image effect. It doesn't look good with zoom in animation, so only use them to zoom out animations. Now I'm going to apply to all my clips. Now let's make a glitch transition. I already have it ready. But don't worry, I'm going to show you all the settings and keyframes. I use BBC Video Glitch and Warp Effect.
Let's take a look. Now we get to the quality and CC part. Disable all the effects and export your clips. First, make sure your intro's audio is detached and set frame interpolation to optical flow. Also, all of your clips should be in optical flow too. I forgot to tell that it will boost your clips to 60 FPS. These are the export settings. Now come to Topaz and copy these settings and start processing. Now replace the upscaled clips with the other ones and fit to the project size. Now I'm going to add shakes and other effects and I'm going to show you the settings, but use effects as you like them. Now I'm going to show you how to do text first. We make the text width only in animations. Out animations won't work in the final form. Now I'm going to show you how to make the fade up logo animations to get the effect required. Download all the VFX texts from Titles panel. Now to add glow to the text, do as I do. Now I'm going to show you the quality and color correction settings. Oh. 
export it like this. 